My name is Gabriella Davidson, and I'm glad to be speaking with you today. I'm looking forward to sharing my thoughts with you on a very serious topic. In today's society, the will to win has gone to a new level, even to the point where athletes use illegal drugs to enhance their power and stamina. The pressure associated with winning games, pleasing fans, and getting the big contract has led many to experiment with drugs. I think that performance-enhancing drugs in sports need to be taken more seriously. Even though athletes have been fined or suspended of the use of illegal drugs in the past, it still continues to happen. Some athletes will do anything to get a competitive edge, but it's not fair to the athletes that work hard on their own. Richard Kelcott, former chief executive of UK Sports, stated, As a national anti-doping agency, we will never accept this. Performance-enhancing drugs are not only prohibited because they violate the spirit of the sport, but because they can damage the health of the athletes. The idea of allowing them in sports could lead to a situation whereby sportsmen and women are used as human guinea pigs for a constant flow of new unregulated substances. The long-term effects don't bear thinking about. Today I will be explaining exactly how and why performance enhancing drugs are a very serious problem. They are hazardous to one's health, they give an athlete an unfair advantage, and they take away the natural talent factor of professional sports. Also, professional athletes influence one another. How many of you watch professional sports? It is very popular in America, and the topic on performance enhancing drugs will show you exactly what's going on behind the scenes. Also, the concept of fair play is essential to both the spirit of the sport and due process. The use of illicit substances to enhance athletic performance is offensive to this concept. Sports are meant to be about honesty. What you see is all that there is. Taking performance enhancing drugs can lead to serious health issues. For example, increased risk of tendonitis and tendon rupture, heart and circulatory problems, aggressive behaviors such as rage or violence, psychiatric disorders such as depression, and even sometimes death. Overall, they are against the spirit of the sport. Professional sports are about raw talent. The drug race in sports has the potential to create a slow motion public health catastrophe. We could lose whatever is most graceful, beautiful, and admirable about sports. The drug use in one athlete can inf influence many other people. One athlete's decision to use performance-enhancing drugs also exerts a powerful effect on the other athletes in competition. To explain, the type of when-at-any-cost mentality is pervading sports at all levels of competition and results in athletes feeling forced to use the substances just to remain on par with other athletes. Also, for many high school athletes, pro athletes are major influences. They are role models. They choose the jersey numbers of their favorite professional players. They emulate their training regiment, regimens. They copy the style of play. And they are definitely influenced by their drug use. When a professional athlete admits to using steroids or any other performance enhancing drug, the message that young athletes hear is not always the one that is intended. Young athletes often believe that steroids or other performance enhancing drugs use by their role models gives them permission to use them as well. Did you know that 20% of high school students said that their decision to use anabolic steroids was influenced by professional athletes? And nearly 50% said that professional athletes influenced their friends' decisions to use anabolic steroids. Overall, I think the best way to keep performance enhancing drugs out of sports is to increase the consequences. I think that instead of being fined or suspended, the athlete should be banned from the sport completely. They should also um, work on administrating more random drug tests throughout the year in every professional sport. This will install more fear into the athletes, and if their career is at risk, they might take it more seriously. On the other hand, some people say that athletes are in a position to make a decision about what behaviors is in their best interest, to weigh their risks and benefits according to their own values, however I disagree. Professional sports are about raw talent, not about what drugs make you better, faster, or stronger. Also, if regular drugs are banned because of the risks, why should performance enhancing drugs be any different? Today, I have spoken to you about the issues with performance enhancing drugs in, prevent in professional sports. I once again stress that it is a very serious problem. It can cause health problems such as death and other serious issues. It takes the fun out of sports and it influences others by sending out the wrong message. So many of us love watching professional sports and seeing the amazing natural talent that those athletes possess, but allowing performance enhancing drugs in could ruin what sports stands for. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my views. Have a great day. Thanks.